The American Mafia operates on a strict hierarchical structure similar to the military or any large organization, and this structure was initially created by mob boss Salvatore Maranzano in 1931. After Maranzano's assassination in the same year, Lucky Luciano went on to shape and develop organized crime in New York, along with his Jewish associate Meyer Lansky. Both men become instrumental in the future of the American Mafia, directing criminal rules, policies, and activities. We now look further into the structure of mob families by looking at the role of a conciliere. Conciliaries act as a mediator of disputes as well as being representatives in meetings with other families. They often keep the family looking as legitimate as possible and are sometimes themselves legitimate apart from some minor gambling or loan sharking. Conciliaries are also the liaison between the boss of the crime family and important figures such as politicians or judges. They are one of the few members of a family that can argue with the boss on certain decisions or plans because of the nature of the job. This means a conciliary cannot just be a yes man. A conciliary overall needs to be someone that the boss has ultimate faith and trust in because this position opens up all of the crime family secrets from carefully set out plans to the most important contacts. Usually conciliaries are also off limits to being a target by other families. Now you know more about the role that a conciliary plays within a crime family. Don't forget to check out our videos on other mob family roles, only on the National Crime Syndicate.